Thanks for inviting us in. It's now six o'clock tonight. Families of some of the most vulnerable Hoosiers are reacting to accusations in a newly unsealed federal whistleblower case. This lawsuit claims that insurance company and medical providers improperly billed the state for patient care and then walked away with millions of dollars, money that was supposed to have helped Medicaid patients across our state. Emily Longnecker spent today digging through those accusations. According to the lawsuit, the alleged fraud sometimes involved duplicate claims, some of them made months and years after a patient had died. Money, the lawsuit says, was part of the reason the Family and Social Services Administration projected a $1 billion shortfall last year. You know, if these allegations are true, we just find this to be really disturbing. Um, uh, our families have kind of been made to feel that that we've, you know, that we're the problem. Jennifer DeWitt is one of hundreds of parents who rallied at the state house last year, protesting changes in how the state would reimburse them to care for their medically complex kids, like DeWitt's son, Jackson. FSSA said the changes were necessary to address the Medicaid budget deficit. Yeah, I, I do feel like we were kind of made out to be the scapegoats. One of the whistleblowers says a contractor hired by the state to look for fraud told state Medicaid officials about the alleged overpayments back in 2017. He claims those same officials then cut back on their efforts to recover money that may have been overpaid. He says that's all because Medicaid officials were influenced by political pressure and lobbying from the insurance and hospital lobbies. We are parents that are trying to keep our kids alive. We don't have the ability to send a lot of expensive lobbyists to the state house to plead our case. 13 News reached out to FSSA about the lawsuit and didn't hear back. We also reached out to several other organizations named in the suit. Most said in essence they would not comment right now on ongoing litigation. Ascension Health also added that it, quote, is committed to vigorously defending the organization and our associates against the untrue allegations in the complaint. The two whistleblowers, both high-ranking former state officials, filed the suit in 2021, but it was just recently unsealed. For parents like Jennifer DeWitt, the lawsuit is proof of one thing. She says there needs to be more oversight of the Family and Social Services Administration and its programs. Indiana just needs to do more, quite frankly. And we reached out to the governor's office for comment, but we didn't get a response. We did get a response from uh, the whistleblower's attorney via email, and he told me the goal of this suit is to recover uh, this much-needed money for Medicaid and to uh, hold the health insurers and the hospitals accountable for this alleged fraud. All right, Emily Longnecker with that update. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.